Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here and today I've got a surprise for you. I think I say that like every video, but whatever. It's a surprise every time, right? Because you don't know what I'm cooking. Anyway, what I'm going to do for you today is a fried catfish taco on the Blackstone griddle. <whistles> yes, sir. Oh, Hungry Hussy whistle right there. Um, got some catfish right out of that, right out of the lake, High Rock Lake in Lexington, North Carolina. Uh, I didn't catch it, wish I did. I love the fish, but I haven't got out fishing in a long time. A buddy of mine, Ronnie Self, thank you, buddy. He said, Hey, man, you want some catfish? I said, Does a frog bump its tail when it hops? I said, heck yeah, I want some. Brought some back. He brought some to me like lickety split. So thank you, Ronnie. Thank you for the for the catfish. And we're gonna make some good groceries out of these catfish right now. So like I said, fried catfish tacos on the Blackstone griddle. The tacos, I'm even taking that one step farther. You wanna ask what I'm doing? I'm gonna make some homemade flour tortillas. Had a, had a one of my subscribers, he actually gave me the recipe from his grandma, Mercedes. I have to go back and look, see exactly what his name, how it's spelled. Uh, I'll put a, put something somewhere on the screen uh, of the person that gave me this recipe. I do appreciate it. Um, it probably isn't like Grandma Mercedes, but I'm going to try to do my best, all right? So, without further ado, I'll show you how I made the flour tortillas. So let me show you how I roll out one of these tortillas. I take just a little bit of flour and it's kind of like a kind of like a pizza ball. I just kind of bring it around like that. Take this little rolling pin. A little small one that I got, and then I just, just kind of work it. I'm not gonna make a very perfect one. Um, it's gonna be rusted, <laughs> and that's it. Easy as that. Easy as that. And then I'm gonna take this. And we're gonna put it over here on the Blackstone. Just toast it up. That's gonna make some really, really nice tacos. All right, so that's the way I do the tacos. All right, fried catfish tacos. I have Mr. Catfish right here. I got some buttermilk. I got like 
probably a third of a cup of flour, a third of a cup of cornmeal. Have a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. This happens to be some Creole, I'll, I'll find it. I can't remember the exact name of it. Uh, this is gonna be a slaw that I'm gonna put. That's some cilantro. That's just some finely sliced cabbage. Cilantro, salt, pepper, sugar. This is really for the slaw uh, and mayonnaise, Duke's mayonnaise. And I'm gonna give it a little, little squeeze of lime in here as well. Um, I'll tell you what I wanna do first is I wanna get this buttermilk uh, inside this bag for these for the catfish um, buttermilk is kind of you know, it helps coat helps coat your protein but it also um, it also is supposed to help take out some of the I don't know, impurities or whatever but um, it's kind of like a marinade it's a marinade and also um, it's a tenderizer as well the, the acidic, but I don't know if you know, need that for, I don't know if you think you need that for catfish, but who knows. So we're just going to let that set for a little bit, um, and yeah, we're going to get there. All right, check it back. Let's get it on the black stone, all right? All right, so I want now I'm going to bread up our catfish. I'm going to take some uh, vegetable oil and get it down the black stone. Uh, the black stone right now is 300 and... 79 degrees so I'm just going to put a healthy dose of this vegetable oil on the blackstone and this is where we're going to we're going to cook the uh, cook the catfish on so it's going to, I'm going to put that nice and heavy and now we're going to bread, bread the catfish so we're just going to mix up our cornmeal and flour and then we're just going to bread the catfish in it. Get that nice. Alright, now Mr. Catfish. So again you want to keep one hand you want to keep one hand clean and one hand wet, or one hand dry, one hand wet, all right, just like that, okay, we're going to do a few pieces, you want to shake off the excess buttermilk, Be good. There we go. Go clean my cutting board, wash my hands. I'll be right back. All right, hey folks, welcome back. I'm going to add a little bit more vegetable oil just to get this pulled up. And I'm going to get some of this catfish. I'm going to get some of this catfish down in this oil. And then I'm going to put a little bit more oil down. Oh man, this is going to be lovely. Man, the smell, the smell on this alone is amazing. All right, it's all catfish. Temperature's about, well, that's about 315. So that's actually all right. That's actually all right. We're not deep frying or anything, so um, you do want to make sure you you kind of add a little bit of oil here and there, just here and there, simply because we're just kind of trying to shallow fry. Okay. All right. Well, let's give these catfish a flip. Been on here for a while. Beautiful. Look at those little nuggets of heaven. Good night. Boy, what you talking about? Man, 
Some good groceries right there, y'all. Boy, honey child. I'm gonna be on these suckers like a dang. Like white on rice. Gotta flip my, my tortillas over here. I hope these tortillas turn out well. Right. Those things look good, don't they? If you think they look good, hit that like button. Give me a like. I love it. So yeah, we're just uh you know low low heat. 300 and 315, 320 degrees. Good to go. All right. I get a lot of people, they want me to, they want me to know the settings of these. The settings doesn't matter. You gotta know the temperature. An IR gun will help you know that, all right? All right, so our catfish been cooking for another two to three minutes. Give them a flip here. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna give them a little bit longer. Yeah, some of these are real thick. So we're just gonna give them a little while longer. While that catfish is cooking, I'm gonna get the slaw ready to go on top of the catfish. Slaw. We're going to do mayonnaise. Probably a quarter cup, quarter cup or so. There's cilantro in there too. All right, salt. This is uh, sugar, a little sweet, pepper, healthy amount of pepper, and squeeze of lime. All right, let's just stir that up. Beautiful. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boy, that's some good looking slaw right there. That's it. Catfish. The yeah, catfish is ready. So let's take, we're going to take our catfish off. They're nice and beautiful. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice and crispy. All right. All right, so catfish is done. Hey, let's plate some of these suckers up with those tortillas and that slaw. Right there. We'll get a couple pieces of this taco, this uh, catfish here. All right. And a little squeeze of, a little squeeze of lime. First one went on the ground over that catfish. Oh boy! And now I'm gonna take some of this slaw. Take some of this slaw and put it on top of that catfish. Oh boy! Now let's give it a try. Look at that! Look at that taco! Yo, let's give this a try. Mmm. Woo. Ha. Mm mm mm. Man. So, taco shell, uh, the flour tortillas is, is excellent. Then, man. So first off I get is that catfish, nice flaky catfish. 
I get a little bit of that seasoning. I get that breading, that cornmeal breading. It's, it's kind of crunchy on top and I get that Cajun seasoning. Man, it's just very light. It's flaky. I get the, and then the cabbage. Hmm. The creaminess and then freshness of that cilantro comes right through. Man. That's a good taco, y'all. Try this. You can use this on white fish. Tilapia probably work. Uh, just so happens I've been craving some catfish. So give us a try. God knows I am. Hmm. I'm going to eat them until I'm sick, y'all. Good night. That's some good groceries right there. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. Appreciate you liking me. Appreciate you subscribing. Appreciate your support on Facebook, Instagram, all of the above. Whew. Love you. Love each and every one. Love each and every one of you. So hey, I'm gonna get off here. The family's hungry. Until next time, folks. Hungry Hussy is out.